But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. Oh my god! You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. That's so deep! That's like my life, man! Like talking to myself! Like right fucking now! Literally right now! There's nobody here, I'm legit talking to myself! Now I just realized how horrible my life Okay, I'm back with this game. Uh, let's see what it has to offer. I think it says something about porn star. If I read right, I might just have been reading it wrong this entire time. Oh, okay. Thank you. I don't know if the fact that my screen is so big and my headphones are so good that I get scared. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's because I feel too immersed in the game. And when something creepy happens, I get creeped out really easily. What is this? Oh no! So like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version 2. What? Oh man, I didn't see... Oh... Mm. I'm not too observative, that's the problem with this game. It requires a lot, a lot of reflection and observation, which I'm not good at. Uh, put a giant hole in the ground. Yeah. A refrigerator. How to? How about a TV with a surround sound? That's a T. That's not a TV. Let's put a huge. No, but long a wall. Let's put a huge picture of a horse. I really like a washing machine. It tends to line up along the wall. What? Oh, oh yeah, number two, definitely, definitely number. What is this? Come on, man. Why are you asking me about my opinion if you don't care? Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of my choices are making any difference. Yeah, that's exactly it. There's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. Aren't all the games like this, man? Like ever since I so, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time, he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Okay, just give me a second. I need to calm down. Taken back to prison? Nobody wants to be in prison. What is this? And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. 
Oh my god. Let me god. just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other oh than this prison god. that I could be working on. Holy. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. Mm. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something, and he likes it. And that's it, ah, he's done, I, he stops making prison. He hits on something and he likes it. This is it. the very last version of the prison game that he created. Get it, get and it. And the reason I think it works Wait. is that the prison is okay. not actually in I'm it. I'm trying to make a sex joke, I'm trying to make a sex joke, God damn it. okay. He said he hit on something, and he liked it. You get it? Yeah? Um, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop with my jokes. What is this? Oh, so I, I just start the game and I just complete the game. That's, that's how it is now. I see. Very... Very awesome. It's wonderful. I wanna call my mom. Why can't I type in the number? Yeah, hello. It's Johnny. It's a real legend. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Yes, I'm you. Johnny, Johnny, you're in jail. You need to get the hell out of there. You're gonna get raped. Yep, I was in the- It's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. Oh my god! You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. That's so deep! That's like my life, man, like talking to myself. Like right fucking now! Literally right now! There's nobody here. I'm legit talking to myself. Now I just realized how horrible my life is. Thank you very much, creator of Stanley Parable and Beginner's First Guide. Or First Beginner's Guide, whatever. Yep, I was in the furniture maze. Yep, I was in the escape tutorial. I was in the reverse prison. I was in the reverse prison, that's right. I was there. I've been there too, my brother. And this is like when you're in a tough situation in life and, and you just want the version of yourself to the future to come tell you that everything's going to be alright. Think about that, that's deep as hell. Like I'm starting to understand how deep this, this game is now. Like one hour in already. Actually I'm already forgetting what being in the prison was like. I miss being in the prison. It feels like being in the prison. It actually does change. I don't feel like the same person though.
I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? This game is deep. Yeah. We're diving right in, humans. This is just... To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Why do you like making games with doors so much? What is this? Oh my god. You scared me. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. He said, now would you please run into the bathroom and make the bed bathroom? Oh. Where? Oh, there. It's easier to clean in this game than in real life. Do it, do it, I'm ready. Am I legit just cleaning up a house in a video game? How about to scrub it down a bit? Let's take the tube. What tube? What tube? Uh, what you is this person talking about? After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Do this, of course I ran. I know that Koda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. 
This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Standing on the table, boys. That's right. How much of a legend I am. Uh, what do you want me to do now? What am I supposed to do now? Present you wants to smooth out the rug uh, in the bedroom. Where? Bathroom again? Are you serious? Okay, peace out. I'm not I'm not cleaning. Ruining my life. Fucking game. Fucking clean up. Fucking clean up yourself. Fucking done with this shit.